Today we're at the farmhouse. Zeb just got finished up making these awesome corbels that we will be installing. Um, kind of separating the living area from the kitchen since it's just one ginormous open space. <laughs> yeah, it's big. We will also be carrying these at jamierayvintagehome.com. So I thought I'd show you how I get them finished and we'll get them photographed and up on the website. All right, so it looks like it's coming down below the framing. There will be trim here. Yeah, but there will be trim there so it actually won't block the window. And that window actually just leads to the mudroom anyways. And on the other side, that's where the second corbel is going. So that'll be a good separation from the kitchen to the living and dining area. So right there like that. Perfect. <laughs> so while Jamie's off going and finishing the corbels up, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the sill plate. I gotta get it nice and cleaned up. So I'm just gonna be sweeping it off. That way we can get our green board down there and get this thing going. You may occasionally see Harrington in the background. He's moving all the lumber so that the garage pad can get poured because the lumber company put the lumber right in the middle of the driveway instead of to the side. So now we can't get in there to pour concrete. I'm back at the shop and I'm ready to get started on these. You usually don't see this angle because normally we film in the pretty side of the studio, but currently there's like 10 wholesale boxes over there that I don't want to move. So I'm just going to be working over here and hopefully I don't get in trouble for filming the ugly side of the studio. We're going to be starting with DIY dark and decrepit. It's going to be the first layer. This is just going to work kind of like a stain. It also has a built-in sealer which will allow me to, when I distress, not to get back to the raw wood, which is not what we want. I'm also not gonna bother painting this side or this side because these are gonna go up in a corner, but when we sell them on the website, we'll make sure that the sides that you see are all finished. You can pick up the paint and products that we're using today at jamierayvintage.com. I'm starting off with the Dark and Decrepit, which is an all natural water-based sealer and I guess you would consider it like a stain. I'm just gonna paint it on, but you can also paint it on and wipe it back so that way you can see the wood grain. In this case, it'll mostly get covered up, so I'm not worried. The nice things about Dark and Decrepit is that it will dry in 15 minutes and it's all natural, which means you can use it inside without having to worry about fumes and you can wash it off your clothes and or your paintbrush easily. So I have one part of the salt wash mixed in with one part of the paint, and I'm just gonna mix this together until it's a cake batter consistency. Just mixing up a little bit for my project. Dark and Decrepit has dried, and I'm gonna do my next step by adding some texture with the salt wash. Now, it does say that you need to stipple it, but I'm gonna go ahead and try brushing it, and then I'm gonna come back and stipple it, because I don't want as much texture as you normally get from salt wash. I just want it to be a little bit softer, so. If you brush it on first and then come back and stipple it, I find that your texture is just a lot softer overall. Not as crunchy as it could be. And I'm gonna go ahead and go all over with these because I want a lot of fun age to them. I might leave a few spots without the texture. I'm definitely gonna do good coverage. The next step is we're gonna be mixing up farmhouse finishes in Snow White. I've got one part milk paint to one part warm water. I'm gonna mix these two together and use my handy dandy whisk. Another great thing to use is an immersion blender if you've got that handy. I use warm water, that seems to mix up a little better. And you're only gonna to wanna to mix up how much you're going to be using. And I think I may have mixed up more than was actually necessary, but whatever. We'll mix this all up, we'll get it painted on here and see what happens. All right, so next up is gonna to be to add our farmhouse finishes. It's not made to chip or crack like traditional milk paint, but you can get some good crackle if you blow dry it or heat gun it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a heat gun once I get a coat on here 
and see if I can get it to crackle a little bit and then we'll sand back to the salt wash. The nice thing about farmhouse finishes is it is bio certified so you can use it on things that will come in contact with food and it's all natural. You definitely only want to be mixing up the amount that you're going to use because it doesn't keep. Usually a few hours and it'll start to thicken up. All right, up close and personal for the crunchy cam. Can you see all the crackle? That happened from my blow dryer. That's pretty good. I'm liking it. All right, here's some more crack cam. Oh, there's Eliza. She's in the background. Anyways, that's the texture. Now we're going to sand them. Next process, DIY clear wax. So I'm gonna DIY clear wax these just to give it a base coat. Then I'm gonna come in with decrepit dust because we want these to look old. And I'm gonna sprinkle on the goodness. Then work it in with my wax brush. Don't worry, it'll get better. Now that I've done that, I'm going to take and bring it back to the white. With the dust just getting down into the cracks. I'll bring you in close so you can see. You want to work a small section at a time so that way you can get it off. All right. Now that I've darkened or crepited that, I'm gonna add a little bit more clear wax and then I'll buff it. All right, so now I'm just gonna buff it off. And this side's done. You can see the difference between before the dark and decrepit and after. So if you like them a little bit more pristine, you don't use that step. But if you want them like old and crusty, then you add the decrepit dust and the clear wax. So this is special copper treated lumber and you want this, this is your seal plate. I've got some seal sealer that goes underneath this, but it's treated so that if it gets moisture on it, it doesn't rot. What I'm doing here is I'm just marking where the bolts are. That way I can drill holes in this board and we'll get this thing down. Harrington and I were able to move all the lumber and we got the first sill plate on. I'm waiting on some big bolts so we can anchor in the floor joist supports and we'll get going on that. Hopefully Monday. We hope they arrive then. So salt wash, DIY paint, milk paint, decrepit dust, wax. There isn't a product we carry that I didn't put on these. <laughs> she brought out all the things in her toy box. Hey, you know what? When you want to make things look legit old, you got to use the legit product. So are we painting the whole house like this then, or just these corbels where Is they're going to be in place? Is that weird because they're crusty? I don't know. I, they're different than I thought they were going to be. So they may look really cool up against the white shiplap. And if they don't, I'll just do another pair and do them a little bit less crusty. If you want to pick up the Farmhouse 1917 corbels, we're going to have these listed in this exact finish 
at jamierayvintagehome.com. If you need to pick up products to create your own project, make sure you're hitting up jamierayvintage.com. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. I actually think that looks good. Yeah, I think, well, you know, envision it with shiplap right here and trim around the window right here in a nice big deep casing and shiplap going all the way up to the ceiling. <laughs> well, and the reason why I did like a bunch of different colors and texture is because all the woodwork that you see and all the shiplap going up is going to be super, super white and I want them to stand out. So it's going to be good. Yeah, I think they're going to look really nice. They're going to be a nice accent and detail to all of our shiplap walls.